Okay, everyone, so basically what I have here is I have a lot of projects going on at once, multiple projects at one, like three of them. I have the headlight um, assembly, like replacing the lenses going on, and that's pretty much complete, so that's a separate video. Um, only thing I do left on the headlight lenses is actually um, just clean them up, clean off this RTV off of them. Um, this next big, the biggest project I have going on is I'm moving my coolers from the vent. So as of right now, I had a transmission cooler right there and to the right I have an oil cooler. So I'm moving those out of the way over to the sides and because I was overheating on my last track session. And then the third thing I'm doing is I'm doing like an assessment and slash repairs on what's kind of been messed up on my last um, track session. So I'll be working on my rear brake uh, rotors here in a second. But this portion of the video, um, I'm doing the coolers. Um, uh, this portion of uh, this one of the three videos, I'm doing the coolers. So I'm pretty much like I'll say 30 to 40 percent done with the cooler install. So what I've done so far is I've done the transmission cooler install, which you can see here on the left. I mean, it's not like professional grade or I got stuff everywhere, a professional setup. So what I have here is um, I've seen these all over you all over the internet of Corvettes doing uh, radiators in the in the fender in the uh, fenders here in the bumper. So what I did is I got a piece of aluminum. I think this is a. Uh, a quarter inch by sixteenths. Um, I got this from Home Depot. Yes, those are zip ties. Um, this didn't go the way I had it planned because the radiator is so big, it would not fit correctly the right way with me using um, a hole here and using two mounts um, at the top. It was just too long or too tall, and I tried to move it up and down, and the bumper wouldn't fit on correctly. So I even tried shaving off this end's uh, holes like this. I've even tried shaving these off to make it fit, but it didn't. But it barely fits in going sideways with this being shaved. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of the way it is. So it's it's, reten it's held in by these two bolts. Uh, the bar is these two bolts that are their factory on the car, so I don't have to drill any holes there. And um, one of those bolts is actually going through the uh, through the transmission cooler. Then the rest of it's supported by these two uh, zip ties. Um, I wish I had metal zip ties. I wish I had an actual bar to make it fa uh, fix better, but I'm not about to spend six hundred, seven hundred dollars on somebody else's little kit to make this to do this right. Um, another thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep my um, my brake cooling ducts. So what I did, and I need to make this look better, is um, I basically made a little channel here out of this, and I've ran a. Um, I've ran the tubing all the way back up into here, so it actually reaches. Um, I had to relo relocate my horns because them horns were mounted right here, um, and I'm mounting them down here, um, and they're on there pretty. They're on there pretty secure. Um, yes, zip ties. Um, there's two of them, and I'm not too worried about them. Um, the next biggest thing I need to do on this this uh, passenger side. Is I'm gonna cut, take this inner fender wheel out, and that'd be my last thing I'm gonna do. Cut this inner fender wheel out and probably cut a portion about this big and put a grate there. Um, I got a uh, wire over there so that the air can flow straight through and out um, um, for the radiator, for the transmission cooler. <laughs> also, um, um, went ahead and fabricated and installed um, vents over my fog lights as well. So I did that last night. So the next part of this video, um, see this is the way I did it. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little big, but you know it's okay. So I just went ahead and you know cut little slits in here, and it's on there, pretty tight. And then I also have the three original screws uh, retaining it down there. I was thinking about putting some RTV up here to make sure it doesn't slip off, but uh, I'm not too concerned. Maybe I will do it just real quick and let it sit because it's not that big of a deal. So the next portion I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take that cooler off here in the front and start fabricating up how to put that cooler on that side, which is a lot smaller. Well, I originally was going to use this new cooler. It just came in today, but it is way too big. Those dimensions on that transmission cooler are 11 by 11, and they barely it barely fits. 
this is like 13 by 11 and I know it won't fit any way, shape or form. So the next step I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my metal tubing here and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it to length um, using my circular saw over there and go ahead and uh, drill two, two holes to get it retained and then start figuring out um, the coolers. So I know I set this backwards and maybe I'm rambling. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the cooler off, let it drain, and then I'll start fabricating stuff. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, so I got the the one in the front here removed. This radiator is just filled with dirt. Um, it's really bad. Um, so I got the little one here um, draining, but I started messing around with the big one here. And I'm thinking of putting it in like this. Right now it's just like held in there by sheer force of of the um of this bar here so what i'm thinking is there's two there's a tab two dots right i mean two bolt holes right there and then there's two more up in there so what i'm thinking is um fix that tab a little bit because it got bent in i guess in shipping drill a hole right through here on through the fiberglass and then attach a long um stud there and also um, taking a bracket and going from this stud, making it longer, of course, to, to these holes right here on the edge. So essentially, I know I'm sitting on the ground. It'd be, it'd be fixated, you know, with a stud here and then a stud uh, kind of like this with this bar. I won't know if it's gonna clear the bumper or not until I actually I get it all mocked up. Um, you know, that's kind of the technician in me instead of you know measuring everything out and doing all that scientifically. But that's the way it'll look. It'll have like a bar uh, supporting it right there, and then it'll have a stud right there. If I once I take the light out um, and drill it right there, I think it will fit. So when I look at the dimensions, you know this one on the right sorry about the lighting um is definitely right there at the edge of the fender and i can actually take it over a little bit more to the inside and this one's actually sticking out actually a little farther at least i think it is you know i'm gonna get a tape measure out and just measure it real quick so yeah okay so i tried um modifying and getting a big one in there and it just wouldn't go in um, the first thing I tried to go with is using this stud. Um, it wasn't um, long enough um, and I couldn't get it to come out. And I tried hammering and I tried screwdriving and it wouldn't come out. Another thing is that with the tabs right here on the end, this stuck up over 15, um, 15 inches. And 15 inches was the max that I could do on this and I was barely I'm barely cutting it close so it stuck up just like over 15 inches I could cut the tabs out but it would only be supported in one spot and I want to have at least two points of um, securing because I wasn't gonna have a bar here um, so what I was just originally gonna do is I was gonna drill through the, the housing for the light and then just have one um, one here then another one here so I can have two places to support it but um, I couldn't I couldn't make that happen. I guess um, I could have maybe sh shot one out from all the way over here, like right here. But it would have still been 15 inches in the tab, and I have to I have to connect to the tab. If that makes sense. So let me try to show you. So if I would I was gonna I even cut fiberglass right there to try to make it squeeze in there better. So basically, if I would have shoved it up in here. I would have to create a bar to come out from this side all the way out to these tabs to make it connect so I have two points of contact. But the tabs is what was making it too long. I mean, I guess I could like a uh, Bondo or something, uh, a hook here or something like that and I could, um, you know, create something that way. I mean, that's a, that's a thought. Um, but what I really would need is this about half the size of what it is basically what i will want is two of these so this small one takes up about that room and if you double it 
it'll probably it'll be around that about that height and that's perfect because it's not the tabs are in a little bit shorter so this is it perfectly lined up the tabs are in shorter plus it's 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 just the perfect height so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and abandon this big one trying to install it I mean I would have got a lot more cooling um, doing that one so I'm thinking about maybe get doing two of these little ones but I'll have to order a second one so as of right now I'm just gonna do the first one see how it goes and I'm just gonna mount the traditional way that I had the other one mounted over there with uh, the, the, the bar uh, with two and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it drop down probably around this height um, which I think is around the height of where the bumper is I'm gonna look at my the other Corvette my wife's Corvette over there to um, determine the height correctly but um, I was gonna just use long um, uh, bolts to just get the height correctly so that the wind can hit it directly through the grill and that's gonna be a pretty simple method to do it and if I really want to I can add a second one on top of each other so I can just have like two of them um, so I got these really long bolts here I hope they still work they're really old that I've had in a bin for a long time I don't know what they are um but i have a bunch of them so probably left over from my dad so what i'm gonna do is just make sure the length is what the length is gonna be and then i'm also gonna line up the holes and just start drilling holes in this i'm probably gonna have to cut this in a little bit but that's not a big deal um so i'm just gonna try to figure it mock this up and drill holes so let's keep going okay so we're making decent progress um, what I did is I used one of the bars here and cinched it up so it won't be bouncing up and down on these. I was trying to figure out what I was going to figure out to do. Um, like, <laughs> I know I didn't have enough washers or anything like that, but I had plenty of pipe left over. So I'm already cut the piece, which is four inches for this side. And I'm going to go ahead and put that one in. And it's already been tightened right here. It's already been tightened up here. So it's just about ready to go. I'm just going to put that last piece in. Okay, so we got it all mounted up here, um, and I think it looks pretty okay. Um, everything's tightened down, and I have full faith and confidence that nothing is um, going to go <laughs> wrong with it. I think the only thing left I got to do is actually um, get the lines out of the way um, as much as possible. But I think, they, I think they might be good to zip tie them here to the frame so they don't move around too much. But yeah, um, the next thing is is to modify the fender wells we're putting some uh, screens in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out just here um, right here in this little rectangle right before right before the lip and um, use some uh, bolts that I have and just bolt the little screen in there and it be it should be pretty simple so let's go and get to cutting this out Okay, so we made quite a bit of uh, progress. So I've already um, got the uh, passenger side all mounted up with the brake and got the brake cooler all back up. And right now I'm doing it in here. I know it's not factory. I know it's not as nice as the $400 kit you can buy, but hey, that's what I'm gonna be using. Maybe I put some grates over it so you can uh, not see it so, so easily. Um, yeah, that's actually a good point. I can always just throw them on there real quick because um, it's such an easy thing. But anyway, so this is basically what I've been working on, um, doing the fender wells, just cut them out with it like I did earlier. This is what you're going to see from the opposite side, from uh, if you're looking through the actual wheel well. Um, so yeah, just going to have to do this other side, basically just get it um, mounted up with a new duct. Um, I still got to figure out, I got to still do the duct over here. And then after that, that's actually the last thing and then um put the whole bumper back on so so yeah let's just see what the kind of the finished product is okay so we got both of the fenders in there uh fender well uh, yeah the fender wells are both in there um coolers are all set up i know the brake ducts aren't perfect but they're they are they are there maybe i'll make this a little bit wider um but and uh, brake ducts are hooked up. So next thing is to put the bumper on. So let's go ahead and knock that out. 
Okay, everyone, it's been a long process, but I got everything buttoned back up. I just need one more push pin to go on the inner fender over here. But um, getting a bumper on there was definitely not a straightforward process because the um, the coolers still sticked out a little bit too far, so the bumper didn't line up exactly. So there's probably some parts in here where it's pushed out where it's not supposed to be pushed out. Um, and also on the other side. So what that causes for the plastic that goes underneath, it didn't line up well either. So originally, I know I got the camera all over the place. Originally, these are supposed to be at the bottom of the, um, of the bumper. They're supposed to suck in air and cool the brake duts. But I decided to go with the ones in the, I put mine in the grill. They don't look as flashy, but hey, I think they're gonna still work. Um, so those didn't line up great. So what I end up having to do is I end up cutting um, wire and just making a bottom myself. And it's all, unfortunately, it's all zip tied on there. If I knew I was gonna run into this issue, I would have screwed it in there like I did these that kind of look a lot better. I would have did it the exact same way. But if I ever take the bumper off again, which I hope I don't, um, maybe I do if I wanna put another cooler in there, that um, it will be, um, the correct way that we're that um you know just looking like a fin good finished product but as you can see um the cooler is right there it's kind of hanging a little low um but i'm not too concerned about it air air will still get there um it's a little too late now to try to fix it and make it up make it go up a little bit higher um but hey i'm satisfied with it and over here of course this cooler is taking up the whole grill so, not too much air is going to hit this, but I mean, there's air coming in from the bottom if it gets sucked in, and then there's still some coming over the top. So, I guess if I really want to, I can go in there and I can actually block the upper portion off, so if it, it'll just make you fall down, if that makes sense. But anyway, this is all complete. I'm about to let the car down. Everything's um, back together correctly. I'm seeing a little gap right here. Uh, I guess the light didn't go... It's not seating right on there, so I'm gonna have to undo this real quick and move this fender around to make it make it go in here. If you can see right there, go in there correctly. So I'm gonna redo that in a second. But that's kind of it for this section of the chant of uh, you know putting the coolers on there and putting the bumper back on. If you haven't been to the channel before, please like, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.